So let's, uh, let's talk about crypto assets and wallets, crypto wallets. When you think about the word wallet, you have this image of what you've grown up with, right? A physical thing where you put credit cards in, you put some cash in, your identification, and put it in your pocket, and you go. You've got, you've got your value, the actual value, that currency, physical money, in your wallet. It is somewhat unfortunate that we've used that same word here in crypto because the reality is the wallet in crypto land doesn't actually hold the assets at all. The wallet in crypto simply holds the private keys that control the assets that will always live on the blockchain. So when you are sending value, sending back and forth, what you're really doing is transferring permission or ownership of the blockchain asset to the other public key, right? And the associated private key controls whether or controls that public key's ability to send to other accounts, et cetera, et cetera. So a bit of a clarification there. I'm going to try to put together a little illustration and have it follow this intro. And you'll see me on the other side. All right, let's talk a little bit about Exodus. I have the product installed, and actually, before I get started, in this demonstration, I am running a product called Eden. Eden is the early access version of Exodus. In other words, the company uses Eden as the platform for testing new features, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, uh, getting rid of bugs and getting user feedback and all these sorts of things. So I have downloaded Eden for the purposes of providing this demonstration so that I do not expose uh, my personal assets. So you shouldn't download Eden. It is a beta product not ready for production, used for testing, uh, all of those sorts of warnings. You want to download Exodus from the exodus.io website for the appropriate operating system in your case. So using Eden to demonstrate for you, but the same functionality will be found in Exodus. All right, so I've launched Eden. This is the first launch and this is the main screen. I don't have any assets in this wallet, but this will be sufficient for demonstration purposes. This is our main dashboard. We have a list of default assets that are given to us here. Price for each asset also uh, very easy to discover, as well as performance over a 24-hour period, current market cap, 24-hour volume, and a nice graphical indication of how the price has performed over that period. We can do things like um, go to settings. We can enable additional assets on the platform. I won't do that here, but know that you can, you can add things to this if you need to do that. You can participate or utilize certain applications uh, this is interesting. I hadn't actually seen this before. Pretty cool that um, Exodus has become sort of an apps platform. So you've got the FTX exchange apparently can now be integrated with Exodus, which is pretty cool. I think I'm going to try that personally. You've got rewards. So built the ability to earn passive income for your idle assets on your idle assets. You've got NFT access. You've got access to uh, dApps on the Ethereum blockchain, all sorts of things. So very, very cool. Devices, this gets into that, um, the use of the hardware wallet, which you'll hear me talk about in the closing comments for this video. But 
the ability to enhance the security for the assets under your control in your bank by pairing this installation of Exodus with a Trezor hardware wallet. You can personalize the experience, set up your security, which you should absolutely do. Set up your backup phrase, you should absolutely do that. In fact, um, upon first launch, you should be prompted to go through this process. And again, you should absolutely do that. All right, um, out of settings here, I'm gonna go back to the main screen. I'm gonna take a closer look at wallets. So go over to the wallet interface. Right now we're looking at Bitcoin. I can switch to Ethereum, Tether, Binance, USD coin, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I talked in a previous video about taking ownership of your assets. What do I mean by that? So here we are in your bank and let's assume that um, over on Coinbase, which uh, I have in the upper left here, let's assume that you were holding some Bitcoin over on Coinbase. And having watched this series of videos, you have determined that the time is now for you to take sovereign control of your money. My guidance, when I tell you place this Bitcoin in a wallet that you control, here is what I'm telling you to do. So over on Exodus, you're going to click receive. This is your Bitcoin address for your Exodus wallet. You're going to copy that to the clipboard. You're then going to go back over to Coinbase. We now want to send the Bitcoin that you're holding on Coinbase. We want to send that to your Exodus wallet. And the way we do that is we go over to wallet here on Coinbase. We type in the value of the BTC that we want to send. And my advice would be to switch to the ability to specify the number of BTC that you would like to send. You know, maybe it's uh, 0 0.006. Uh, this, yeah, I don't hold anything on Coinbase, so we get this message, which is fine. I want to send Bitcoin. I would paste that Exodus address in this field. And optionally, I can create a note to uh, give me an indication of what this transaction was all about. Once I have all this filled in, and if I actually had any BTC here, <clears throat> I'd have the opportunity to continue the process, which would give me a preview of the transaction ask me to confirm that this is indeed what I want to do. And I would say, I'd click send. After a little bit of processing, we would see that Bitcoin show up, represented here in our, in our wallet, our bank, so to speak. So a quick overview of how you would take control of your assets. Exodus has a built-in exchange so you can trade your crypto from one crypto to another should you should you want to do that all within a nice slick user interface right so um i'm gonna say yeah i understand that these services are provided through a third-party api click continue and swapping or trading between Bitcoin or between cryptos is as simple as filling out the appropriate form. In this case, I'd be switching my Bitcoin over to Ether, or maybe I wanted to switch my Bitcoin for some other token, simply select it, type in the value that I'd like to swap, or simply say the minimum, the minimum required for this exchange, half of what I have, or send as much as I can, exchange as much as I can, right? So the choice is yours. Very cool. Um, yeah, and the ability to install apps, etc., etc. Quick overview of the Exodus wallet. 
Hope you found it useful, and I hope you will take action. Now, you'll see me in the uh, outgoing comments. All right, so hopefully that illustration helps to solidify in your mind what's really happening with blockchain assets and crypto wallets. Uh, unfortunate naming convention, but I understand why it was chosen. And uh, my aim here is to, to help you understand as well. And with that, I'll end it here. I'm gonna continue uh, with some cleaning here on the outside of the house. Hope you're doing well, stay safe, and you'll see me in the next video.